Well, it arrived. My craft gin for the month of February. With the, this time, the booster as well. I may have the boxes mixed up, but hey ho. So, let's give these a go. So, last time I opened up the booster. So this time, I'm gonna open up the main package first so we can see what we got. So we've got my handy knife, remember? Be careful with knives. There we go, a nice clean cut. And let's open this bad boy up. I've done it again. This is the booster. Oh well, we'll open the booster up first. Next time. This is a the boxes look so bizarre. Okay, so the booster so far, we've got this. We've got some what is that? So it's a, it's a sparkling water drink with one percent well. 1.4 of apples and three strawberries okay so we know what we're gonna get in the main package and again another one but well, let's see what the goodies we get okay we've got the oh i actually like those they're really nice and we're gonna get oh we've got loads of them oh this is brilliant this is like christmas i genuinely do like them they're really nice okay We've also got the main box, so this is like another box within a box. So let's open this up. And then mind this is gonna be the tonics. Mm, can't open it without being a Mojo strip. Can I open this upside down? I can open it upside down. Oh well. So we've got some grapefruit tonic. Now, that isn't too bad. I like grapefruit tonic. Okay. So obviously another great tonic. So this the booster is a new thing. This is like the second month that the Craft Gin Club have done a booster. So and you pay I think it's fourteen pounds or seventeen pounds, every month might change for the booster. So it all depends. Like so you don't know what you're gonna get in the booster just like in the craft gin. So you, it's hard to tell, but if you genuinely like their products, like I do, then I genuinely think it's worth it. So look, I've got another strawberry drink. Um, and tonic and so I've also got another aromatic raspberry and rose tonic sorry I don't know about the best like that um, like so and of course another switch and leave it's, it's interesting what what tonics they give you because you, I've noticed I've never had and I've done the craft gin for almost two years now gosh almost two years and I've never had a fever tree tonic so so we've got lime and juniper um, I don't know why one was upside down lime and juniper um, garnish okay now this will probably be the, like these are the snacks so this will be the there Interesting, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Some more truffles. Yeah. So, you know, mm, I'm not the biggest fan of these, but my, I know someone who does. So they. <sighs> so, I can say the plum crackers from last month. I really did enjoy. I need to be the cocktail search. I've got so many of these. <laughs> I don't use them too often, but I've noticed that this is more of a strawberry um, theme. Yeah, so look, so that's, it doesn't say strawberry, but I assume it's predominantly strawberry. So, yeah. Like, they, they wrap it in paper. Like, I do recycle these. And this is another one. Right. Oh, oh, what's this going to be? I wonder. Is it going to be? It's going to be the another one. Hmm. Like my beer, by the way, it's good. Oh, here you go. So this will probably be me and my pack of crisps. Yep. Yeah. I hope you're. Here's. Uh, wait. Yeah. No. Craft gin, if you're ever watching these, which you never will be, of course, 
you know, the booster pack. Maybe um, to change the variety. So like, you, you gave me two of the same flavor. Maybe one of each, a different flavor. You know, just I'm, obviously the strawberries is a good idea. I'm, you know, but I'm just saying more cardboard. Magnus Rose. Oh, it's a rose cider. So, uh, Magnus. I don't know they did a rosé cider, but I will be trying that tomorrow. Yes. All right. What else have we got in this bad boy? So, truffle and rosemary flavored potato crisps. <laughs> also, rosemary and potato crisps. So that's what you got in the booster. So you could guess what's going to be in the craft gin, but, but, still don't know what the gin is. So let me just snap my finger in some impressive editing. Ready? And boom. Gone. Oh, great editing there. All right, so now it's time for the main box, which I should have opened up first. But I didn't because I'm an idiot. So knife. No, nope, never. Safety. If you can't open your box yourself, get someone else to do it for you. Okay. Oh my god. They, they do seal these boxes quite well. Oh my god. Ooh. Right, now. So. We can already tell what's going to be in the, the, <laughs> the box due to the booster. But. Crisps. We got the crisps. We got the strawberries. We got the juice, like so. We got the truffles. Boop. So now. Also, we've got the tonic. So none of this is really a surprise because woo, it's rolling down. Woo, it's rolling. But, you know. Hold up. And also the other, this is a tonic. It doesn't say it's a tonic, it's a sparkling blend. But it's not really a tonic. Good for gin or vodka. People who drink vodka. Sorry, it keeps rolling. Keeps me rolling. All right. The garnish. I'm gonna put that on top because we've already seen that. And so, uh, I think this, uh, you know, it might be different. You know, I think it could really be different. Is it gonna be different? Is it? Oh, it's not. It's the same. So I'm just gonna put that. Yeah. We'll stop it rolling. No. Yeah. Itchy nose. Oh well, not very good presentation there. Yeah. So and I've got another can of the magnets, so you know, who are. Um I think I should really zoomed out on the camera, but well. Magnus, and again another tonic. So I'm just going to put that to the side because we need to see it. But importantly, the gin. And this gin is a Hawk Ridge London Dry Gin, made of England. Made of England? Should it be made from England? Victorian Aphrodisiac Botanical Blend. So I'll just show you the bottle. Look at that. It's a really nice bottle. It's really, you know, it's quite, quite nice. Um, so it's got lots of information here. If you, want to read, I'll, if you ever want to pause it and, I don't know, actually, you, you cannot read that. But anyway, yeah, that is a, oh, it's an interesting gin. So, and of course, it comes with the 
the magazine that tells you all about the information about the gym. So the founders look quite lovely, the men. Tells you all the information. So there we go. The gin. All about it. Tasty notes on the nose. Expert on a fragrant bouquet of blonde citrus notes. So telling you what's in the botanical. So juniper, coriander, lemon peel, orange peel, meadows. It just tells you more. It's, it's very interesting. Um, so now it tells you the cocktails. It tells you like it usually has. Oh, look at that. Look, look at that. Every magazine seems to get full of advertisements. I'm uh, just trying to find ooh, the gin, the cocktail. It, tells, it usually gives you like a, a main cocktail to make with the, the stuff it's given you. Oh, no, all my advertisements on the thing is falling out. All the. Oh, no. Oh, I need to do some impressive. Ad, um, I'm going to do my amazing editing skills again. Hold on. I'm going to just have the magazine and the gin and all this will go. Ready? Hold on. And one, two, three, and ooh. Look at that editing. Gone. See? I know. I know. I should be working for a movie studio. So that's the gin, like I said, and all the information. But I was just trying to see if we can find a cocktail to make. So it tells you some of the cocktails here. So this is stuff. Um... So all that stuff it's given us, so some of the gin, some of the um, syrup. Uh, so I'll try this one and I'll see what we think of it, shall we? But I need to get myself a glass and a measuring point. So let me just do that. Yes, I'll do that now. I'm back. Great editing again. Got the stuff. Let's try this. So I'm gonna try a bit of the gin, obviously, like I always do, and then I'll make this one, because it looks quite interesting. So a bit of the syrup, and 100 milliliters of the drink, which I think, to be honest, is fine, because I think it gives you about the same volume as 100. So, <coughs> let's just try a bit of this. It smells nice, actually. It's, it generally, it smells like a, It doesn't smell as um I don't like use the word potent, but it's yeah. <laughs> Let's just try a bit. And also the bottle. Like people say to me that all gin tastes the same. That's not true. But I will admit that the bottle is a lot when it comes to the gin. So like some bottles are like like the bottomness is a really pretty bottle. Isle of Harris is a really nice bottle, so I do generally think, oh my god, I'm losing my hair, look at that. And, well, I actually think worse. Look at that, that is, wow. That is really bad. Look what I'm being distracted. I'll worry about my midlife crisis another time. Oh, look at this. Uh, <laughs> hide, hide it. So, let's just try the gym. It's actually quite smooth. It's smooth and you can, you can taste the lemon and <coughs> as well. I don't think there's much strawberry in it. So anyway, let's just try the cocktail, shall we? So I put in a measure of that and I'll just pause it. I'm back, <laughs> great editing. So a hundred mils of this. So 100 mils of a can, and this is a standard syrup, like so. And 100 milliliters of it. So what's on this can? So there's half a can of this, which is, you know, I'll probably drink the rest of the can. So, let's just, smells nice though. And it looks nice. I do like, Oh wait, hold on. So that's about 100. So let's give it a go. Cheers. Ooh, mmm, that is really nice. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah. That is, oh, that is really nice. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I'll hide the can because that's my favorite present. That. That is nice. And the gin is good. This month was a good month, so. For Valentine's, yeah. For people who have a Valentine's. No one seems to love a boy who's got a receding hairline. Anyway, so that was February of 2022 with the booster. And I have to say, especially that, that is really nice. So I'm quite glad I've got the booster because I can make more of those because that was really good. So anyway, thank you very much and stay safe.